Hey guys, just wanted to make a video about motive wave and linking charts um, as I think it's a bit more complicated than it needs to be uh, the way that it is set up uh, by default. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new chart. I'm going to do a grid of four and I'm just going to name this linking. Uh, click enter. So by default, we have these four charts. So first thing you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to link the charts. And there's two types of linking. There is linking by symbol or by um, the interval or the time frame. So I can link charts by doing one of two things. I can click on the chart and click down here. So let's say I want this to be a red link or I can do it up here in this. So I can click on this chart go up here, change it to a red link. So now both of these are um, a red link. So if I go into the settings, we can go to the general and then go to linking. And by default, I think it has this clicked. So if we unclick this, we can decide what how we want them to link. So if it's link instrument, um, obviously that means the instruments are gonna be linked. So now that I click on that, they're both ES. Let's say I change them both, they're both NASDAQ. I can have this one on a 30 minute, this one on a five minute, and the symbol is linked. Another way of linking is you can have them linked by um, time frame. So you go to linking, link, link bar size. So now these will be linked by bar size. So if I switch one to one minute, the other one will go to one minute. And this would probably normally be used on two separate charts. So you have a NASDAQ chart, let's say, and an ES chart. These are both going to stay in the same time frame as you change them. So both of those are pretty handy. Now the final thing that I'm gonna show you, um, which is kind of the more confusing part, is linking by, um, linking the drawings. So to be able to link drawings, um, first off, I'm gonna draw on one of these. Let's do, let's draw a horizontal line. Let's draw another horizontal line here. Uh, okay, so let's say, let's say I have these two horizontal lines on this chart. Um, I'm gonna make this a ES chart and or sorry, I'm gonna go back to NASDAQ since that's what I drew on. I'll make this one NASDAQ chart as well. So you can see by default, these charts are linked um, in terms of time frame, or they can be linked in terms of symbol, but that doesn't mean that the drawings are gonna copy from one to the other. So what you need to do is you have to either create an analysis by going here and clicking new analysis, or if you already have an analysis, you can go here. Um, there usually is one created called primary analysis. So the analysis is what links the um, drawings. And that would be fine, but one issue with an analysis is an analysis copies everything. So it copies all the studies. So if you add one study here, it's gonna copy here. So if you have one footprint chart here, even if this is on a one day, it's gonna be a footprint chart. It's not gonna um, have that removed. So if I go to primary analysis here, you can see if I, let's say I go into the studies, let's say I add a study, I'm gonna add a volume imprint and I want a volume profile, so I'm gonna get rid of the imprint count and let's say I go to summary profile, summary, and make a daily profile. So I create that. So I go here. So now we have a primary analysis. I'm gonna X out of this one because it has to be a primary analysis for the lines to copy. So I'm gonna draw those lines again. So we draw, say we draw a line here and we draw a line here. Okay, so now we have two lines, we want them to copy here. So what we have to do here is we have to go in and make this one um, also a primary analysis. So I'm gonna X out of this one, 
So now it's a primary analysis. It has the um, has the same um, lines, but it also copies this volume profile. And I'm going to go into the settings and change the linking so it's not linking by bar size. So let's just do link by instrument so I can have two different time frames. So let's say on a 15 minute, I want the volume profile, but I don't want the draw or I don't want the volume profile here on the five minute. So this is where the problems come in because to copy drawings, you actually have to also copy all the studies, which is quite annoying because you would assume you would just want the drawings and have the charts completely separate. But if you make them the same analysis, which is going to copy the drawings, it's copying the studies. So to be able to change the studies so that they um, won't appear on one and they'll appear on the other is it's done by time frame. So what I mean by that is you can go up here to this volume profile. Let's say I don't want the volume profile to show on anything other than the 15 minute. So I can go up here, right click this and go to visibility and click 15 minute only. So now on this chart, no matter where I go, as long as it's not a 15 minute, right? So the 15 minute will have a volume profile. All the other ones won't have a volume profile, but these drawings will copy. And you can do the same thing with um, the um, lines actually. So you can go to here, right click and go to visibility. So you can make the lines only show on certain time frames. Because let's say a trend, you have a trend line on, let's say, a one minute. And the trend line on the one minute is going to look really stupid, let's say, on a higher time frame. So I can go here, let's say I add a trend line like this. Now this is going to look, let's say, really stupid if you go to a 45 minute. So you can set the visibility to, let's say, one minute only, or you can go into the properties and set the visibility to visible on current bar size only, visible on current bar size or higher or lower. Um, or you can do something like this where it's only visible on, let's say, equal to or lower than the 15 minute. So now, if I'm on anything other than the 15 minute or lower, it's not going to show. So um, it is kind of a headache, but that's the only way to get around it, to have drawings copy or link between charts, but also not have certain studies copy as well, um, because we don't want the same um, thing on every chart, especially if you're using footprint. If you want a footprint on one chart and then you have a higher time frame that you don't want footprint on, you're going to have to go in, right click, and go to the visibility, um, and you're going to have to change it there. Otherwise, um, you're going to have issues where it's going to copy the studies to every single time frame just so that you can have those drawings there. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching.